Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning about the ink tool. The ink tool can help you create smooth, calligraphy-like brushstrokes with adjustable tips and characteristics while using a mouse. This tool shares some options with the brush tools. Click the card in the top right-hand corner to learn more. Let's start by creating a stroke with this tool in our project. To use the tool, simply click and hold with your left mouse button. Notice as I make a stroke, as I slow down, my brush stroke gets bigger, and as I speed up, it gets smaller. This helps emulate the behavior of ink on a brush. Now let's look at some options specific to this tool. Like we've explored before, the size of the brush stroke with this tool is fluid, and it changes with the speed of your mouse. Size under Adjustment adjusts the overall size of the brush. A smaller amount will create smaller strokes, while a larger amount will create bigger strokes. Angle emulates the angle you're holding your brush at. First, I will set the speed to zero, so my brush is uniform in size. Then I will draw out different strokes while changing the angle amount for each. After a lot of experimentation, I cannot find a drastic difference between different angle selections, even with different nib types. Under Sensitivity, there is another option for size. The size options for both Adjustment and Sensitivity collaborate to affect the total size of your brush. I was a little confused at first about these options and still maybe a bit, <laughs> but what seems to be the case between these two is that the size is your basic size of the brush, and if we have size down here under sensitivity, this is set to 1, so I believe that makes it so this pen expands to the fullest that it's going to within that 16 pixel size for the adjustment. So if we turn this size down under sensitivity and create a stroke, you can see it's less responsive to the speed of my mouse and gets bigger slower. So just experiment with these two options to see if you can find an effect that you're happy with, because it can be a little bit confusing. In GIMP's Ink Tool Guide, they state Tilt controls the appearance of the nib relative to horizontal. Again, after a lot of experimentation, I couldn't really find a drastic difference when changing the amounts of this option and using different nib shapes. Once again, I will set the speed to zero, so my brush is uniform in size. Then I will draw out different strokes while changing the tilt amount and also the shape. Both angle and tilt are said to influence one another, which I will demonstrate here. Can you tell the difference between these strokes? Speed controls how much the tapering effect you get. At a lower setting, like we've been doing, the stroke's width is less affected by the speed of your mouse. If I set this to zero, no change is created whether I slow down my mouse or speed it up. If I increase this a little, we will get some effect, but it's very, very slight. At a higher setting, the stroke's width is heavily modulated by the speed of your mouse. Under Shape, we can select and edit the shape of our brush stroke. If I just click once with my mouse on my canvas, 
After selecting these different options, you can see how they correspond. Circle creates a circle, square creates a square, and diamond creates a diamond. With this option, you can also further adjust the starting shape by clicking the square inside the outlined shape. As I drag this around, the shape takes on different perspectives. If we switch to another shape, notice how it is taken on the same perspective we gave to the previous shape. You can use this method to change the rotation of the brush. Notice the difference between these different orientations of the square brush on the canvas. These tools options require some experimentation to become familiar with how they affect one another. Like any tool, the more you use it, the more you will come accustomed to its nuances and how to get the best use out of it. And that's it. You now know how to use the ink tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.